I'm here with the three best car shuffling machines and it was very fun to try these out. Now they're all in different ranges here. So that's why I wanted to look at each of these because you have the most simple one right here. This is a simple machine. It takes in batteries. So you need four of those AA batteries to go in there. I got some rechargeable ones that work really, really well. And then this is just very easy. Just put the cards in there and then the other half in there and then push on this little button. As you can see, that works really, really well. Just a fast shuffling system. Get them in the little plastic cup there. And it couldn't be easier, this one. Couldn't be more simple. So that is a great card shuffler. Uh, if you want something uh, easy, low key, just put in the batteries and you're good to go. Now then you also have This one, which is a little bit heavier, a lot heavier actually. And it is also just a little bit sturdier here. This is integrated instead of like a loose thing that keeps falling out. So this already is a lot sturdier. And uh, why it's heavier, it's because you can plug this in and then use this while plugged in. Now it also takes batteries because I did think one would have like a built-in battery, but uh, it actually, takes four of these large uh, large batteries here, large round batteries. Um, and But you can use this uh, plugged in, so it doesn't charge uh, or anything when you plug this in, but you can use this without the batteries and set this down. So it is an extra little feature that you can use, but I found I use the batteries most of the time. It is a little bit more heavy duty though, um, and it works just a little bit better than this uh, more simple card shuffler. So that is uh, one step up from the simple one. And then you also have this monster here, which is actually pretty cool. It looks like a little printer or like a little fax machine. And this one is programmable. So you can use this in like any situation. Just put in how many people you uh, have here, like four or how many cards you want to deal. Or if you want to deal uh, all of the cards that are in there, which is quite an a uh, cool feature uh, for like, and this is really cool for parties. So this also shuffles the cards in, but then it also automatically deals to everyone. So it just uh, spreads out these cards in like a standard table setting with four people. So you can shuffle with this, but also have this deal so you don't even have to deal anymore. Now you also have these four little plugs. And the cool thing here is you can push these, which are all connected to the main device. You can push these to receive an extra card for like uh, maybe blackjack when you want the dealer to hit you with another card and then this thing sees which person uh, or where this thing is compared to the device and it will hit you with another card which is pretty cool uh, but mostly it's a, just like a cool party trick so it's a really cool system very heavy duty and a really a premium product i do think like if you just want to uh, shuffle the cards you can do it any of the other two um, that are also out there in different price ranges, of course. So these are the three types of devices in the top three in their categories for when you're deciding to buy a card shuffler.